so we already seen a basic express uh, server creation we created the basic express server which actually uh, runs in a port uh, we uh, didn't define the routes yet and the, also the database connection so far we created this app.js file index.js file uh, configuration uh, which contains the port app.js file which config contains the express and index.js file where we we create the server and a few packages and the dot uh, env file uh, next uh, we will go to this database sections uh, so next we will uh, connect to a postgres sql database postgres sql database from your node from um, our node.js application so <coughs> i will create this database directory inside the database directory we will have the connection.js which will contain the uh, which will contain the connection uh, we will use uh, we will use for the database operation next file for the next configuration which is the uh, sql query builder and next migration migration directory which will contain all the migration files to create tables uh, in our database and we will also have the seeds directory i didn't mention here the seeds directory we will have the seeds directory to create some initial uh, initial data so uh, let's start so i added the seeds directory uh, just beside just below the migrations folder there will be the seeds folder inside the seeds folder there will be the user.js file and in the and there will be the data directory inside the data directory there will be the json which will be inserted as a row in uh, in the user tables okay so first i will install the package uh, next and pg so next is a sql library uh, sorry sql query builder for node.js that allows you to interact with your database using javascript it provides a higher level a more abstract way to write database queries making it easier to work with various database systems next supports multiple database system including postgres sql mysql and the sqlite and next pg pg is the node.js library for the postgresql it's a driver that allows you to connect to a postgresql database from your node.js application you can use it alongside next or independently to interact directly with your postgresql database so it's installed next i will create the database directory and uh, uh, generate the next file next file.js So this created this next file.js with uh, we have to change few things you can see this created with the sqlite 3 uh, we will change to this uh, pg or the postgres
so here i uh, changed the client uh, to pg and the connection string connection string is the postgres uh, colon uh, this is the username which is the postgres this is the password uh, password of the postgres the user username postgres and the password is the my secret password and i will connect uh, locally this is the local host ip and this is the database name and next go to the migration migration directory will be the current directory inside the database directory there will be the migration folder inside the migration folder uh, all the migrations files uh, will be there and in case of the seats same inside the database directory we will have a seats folder all the seats files will be there just like this uh, inside database we have we will have the migration and seats and for the production that will come from the environment so i'm quickly change next i will uh, create the migrations file so the uh, command will be so you can see the migration folder created with this file the migration file here i have to write the create table statement and uh, here uh, there will be the drop table statement so the migrations basically is a way to manage uh, to manage and version your database schema changes or which changes over time so <coughs> so this file contain the two main functions the up function and the down function so up uh, up functions uh, basically uh, you define the changes uh, to to your database schema that this migration will apply and in the down function you specify how to roll back those changes if needed
now come to the explanation uh, here we have the exports dot app this function is basically responsible for creating a new table named users users uh, <coughs> with the several columns uh, so if i uh, if i break down the uh, the table schema first i have the id which is uh, auto incrementing primary key unsigned integer next i have the email uh, email a string column that cannot be null and must be unique password which is just, uh, which again string column and cannot be null first name last name which is a string column and cannot be null role role is a enumerated column which means it can only contains values member or admin next we have the created at so created at a timestamp column with a default value set to the current timestamp using next fn uh, now and i use the promise dot all here uh, function is uh, to ensure that all the database migration operations within the array are executed asynchronously in this case it waits for the table creation operation to complete before moving on the next migration steps actually in in uh, this case we only have the one create tables uh, i will add more there that's why i using the promise dot all and next we have the export down function is the rollback for the rollback operations of the database migration it essentially drops the users tables if it exists with a cascade options so cascade options basically means if there are any dependencies or the foreign key constants associated with these tables they will also be dropped now i will try to migrate this uh, file uh, i will try to create the users table so you can see uh, it's complaining the book order database is not present so i will create the database first next i will migrate so it's migrated you can see we have the user table i will describe the table we have all the columns next i will uh, check the rollback if it's working or not rollback so you can see the table dropped table comma next i will add the sheets so you can see sheets directory created with the user.js file and here we have this seed function first i will uh, create the seed data i have the sample seed data which, uh, which has the email password first name last name and the role next i will go to the user.js file
next I will uh, insert this seed data so the table name uh, does not exist so it's run So you can see it's inserted here. Next we will uh, we'll see the uh, rest of the things. Uh, so we have this the SRC. The SRC will define the models, repository, routes and services. And uh, we will test those uh, using the Mocha and Super test. And then we will add the front end and integrate those APIs okay thank you